Chapter 6 Murder The next morning the Hispaniola stopped in a bay. The ship was anchored close to the shore, and Captain Smollett looked at the island through a telescope. He also looked at the treasure map. I had seen the map. I knew the tall hill on the island was called Spyglass Hill. I knew that there was an old wooden building called a stockade near the shore. But I could not see the stockade when I looked at the island. Sailors had built the stockade many years ago while they repaired their ship. All morning, the men were restless. They did not obey the captain's orders quickly. Captain Smollett watched the crew carefully. Only Long John Silver was happy. I'll let some men go ashore this afternoon, said Captain Smollett. I'll fire a gun half an hour before sundown. That will be the time to return. The captain waited to see how many men wanted to go ashore. He wanted to see how many men would go with Silver, and he wanted to see how many men would stay with Livesey, Trelawney, and himself. Many of the men wanted to go with Silver. They thought that they would find the treasure on the island immediately. They wanted to go ashore at once. I wanted to go ashore, too. I knew it was dangerous, but I had been at sea for a month. I wanted to feel the land under my feet. I did not tell Dr. Livesey and Squire Trelawney that I was going. I climbed into one of the small boats with the men. There were six men in one boat and seven in the other. Silver was in the other boat. He was feeding his parrot. Pieces of eight. Pieces of eight, the parrot screamed. Long John Silver did not see me until we were close to the shore. Jim, Jim, I heard Silver call. Stay with me on the island, Jim. But I didn't listen. I jumped out of the boat and ran up the beach. I ran straight ahead. There were trees in front of me. I ran through the trees and the thick bushes. There were strange flowers and plants everywhere. There were brightly colored birds and insects. Sometimes I could see Spyglass Hill above the trees. Most of the time the trees hid the sky. I walked and walked. I did not know where I was going. I was lost in the jungle. I must have walked in a circle because I heard voices ahead of me. I heard Long John Silver's voice. I moved forward slowly and hid in the trees. Join us, Tom. Silver was saying to another man. All the crew are working together in this. You will be alone. I'll not join you, said Tom. I'll not join a crew of pirates. We're not all thieves and murderers like you. I'm not alone. Just then there was a scream. A man gave a terrible cry, and frightened birds flew up into the air. What was that? asked Tom. That was Alan, said Silver. Alan didn't want to join us either. And you've killed him, said Tom. He was angry and afraid. You've killed him like a dog, and you'll have to kill me too if you can. Tom turned and walked away from Long John Silver. Silver was quick. He leant against a tree. He lifted his crutch and threw it at Tom like a spear. The crutch hit the man in the back. Tom fell down. Quickly, Silver jumped forwards on his one leg. A knife was in his hand. He jumped on Tom. He stabbed the knife into Tom's back once, twice. Tom did not move again. I was horrified. I had seen a murder. I could not move. I had liked Long John Silver. Now I had seen him kill a man. A. Answer the following question. How many men went with Silver to the island in two boats? Twelve men. B. Draw a circle round the most correct answer, A, B, C, or D. 1. The highest part of the island is A. Spyglass Hill B. The three trees C. The stockade D. None of them. 2. D. Was not a pirate A. Ben Gunn B. Tom C. Blind Pew D. The dead captain C. Decide whether the following statements are true or false. Write T for the true statement and F for the false one. 1. Long John Silver kills Alan because Alan refuses to join him. 2. Alan was killed on the island. 1. How does Jim know about Spyglass Hill and the stockade before he goes to the island? He knows about Spyglass Hill and the stockade from the treasure map. 2. What does Jim do? He climbs into a boat with the men and goes ashore. 
Three, what does Jim C. Long John Silver do on the island? Jim sees Long John Silver kill Tom.